thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel or coming to visit me for the first time. My name is Charlotte Snowball and it is an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Now before I begin with my short video, I just wanted to say a little apology for not posting in a while. I've been moving house again. You may notice I'm in a new room and a complete new house. Um, so that's kind of why, because it's been a little bit stressful the last couple of weeks, but everything's calm now and much happier, so ready to get back into it. Um, today I wanted to talk about overthinking. Recently it has been brought to my attention that we are a society of overthinkers. We overthink things before they even happen, making up a story in our head about how something could plan out, which causes us so much stress and anxiety before what's about to happen even happens. And most of the time, it doesn't even happen the way that we believed it did in our minds. And then we get so caught up in our thoughts that we forget to live in the present moment because we're spending so much time worrying about the future. We seem to overanalyze everything. We may have a short conversation with somebody and then in our minds we think about every hidden meaning and every word that that person may have said. And then of course, the beauty of texting makes everything that little bit worse because we can't hear the tone of somebody's voice when they say something. So we spend so much time rereading over what this person said, wondering if we can figure out the way in which it was said. So recently I have tried to put a stop to this overthinking malarkey and my mind feels so much better. I have found a system and an understanding of our thought process which I want to share with you. We have to remember that although the mind is such a powerful thing, we are the ones in power. We are the ones who control our thoughts and decide which ones we actually pay attention to and which ones we allow just to flutter away from our minds. Our thoughts come and go, which is absolutely normal, but it's up to us to decide which ones are worth stressing over and spending so much time thinking about. It's like, I don't know if you've woken up in the night thinking about something and at that time when you're tired and you want to sleep, the thing you're thinking about is the worst thing in the world and it takes away your sleep and you spend so much time over analyzing every little detail of what you should have said, what you could do, and then you wake up in the morning and you really don't even remember what you were thinking about. It was just like a dream, but you spent hours that night thinking about it and stressing over it, but in the morning, it's not even that bad. So since realizing that I used to overthink and sometimes obviously still do, I can honestly say that my mentality has changed and I have started to enjoy my life so much more. In fact, I am the happiest I have been in such a long time and the most positive version of me that I think I have probably ever been. I have begun to just allow things to happen the way that the universe wants it to happen. Rather than spending so much time pre-planning my future, on what could or couldn't happen. I also feel a lot more empowered by the fact that I can pick and choose my thoughts. If I know that something is gonna stress me out, then I allow the thought to come into my head, but slowly just push it away because there's nothing I can do about it right now. There's nothing that I can do to change or to stop it. And it's just about realizing that there is nothing you can do and you're just gonna waste your time stressing about it by just overthinking every scenario that could happen. So the key is that you don't need to stop thinking because obviously that's impossible. Just select whether or not you believe what you are thinking about. And this is so important because most of our thoughts are just made up stories about the past or the future that we make so much more dramatic than they were when it happened or that they're actually going to be. We have to remember that the majority of our thoughts are not even real. So when they come into our minds, remember this and allow them to just pass through or consciously tune into a different radio station in your mind. Don't allow your thoughts to control your mind. Take control. And thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully learned something. Um, yeah, it means a lot that you took your time to watch it. 
I hope you have the best day and the best week and remember to be the change that you wish to see in the world.